Football is a really beautiful and wholesome sport, but at the same time it can get really strange and bizarre. Some really weird things have happened on football pitches and we are about to take a look at a few of them in this video. Here are the 10 weirdest incidents witnessed in football matches. And we start this list with a non-league footballer named Connor Jackson, who was once handed a nine-game ban for allegedly grabbing the testicles of not one, but two different opponents during a game. You can say whatever you want about what Connor Jackson did that day, but all we know is that it was absolutely nuts. All pun intended. But if you think that's bad, just wait till you find out what happened during a Sunday league match in January this year. Now, we don't know who the culprit is, but what we do know is that the Nottinghamshire FA is currently looking into the case of a player inserting a finger or maybe even multiple fingers into the, wait for it, anus of an opponent. This is actually super crazy. Apparently, this happened on the 8th of January, but last we heard, investigations are still ongoing to get to the bottom of it. No pun intended. After hearing that, you may not believe this, but it gets even more bizarre. Come with us as we take a trip to South America. So, in October last year, Colombian defender Gayson Perea came up with a very bizarre way of defending a free kick. He wanted to distract the free kick taker from playing an accurate shot. So, what was his genius idea? To flash his genitals, of course. Unfortunately for all of us who were watching, the camera happened to zoom in on the defensive wall at the same time the flashing happened, and everyone got to see it in real time. That was a really ballsy move. Uh, yeah, pun intended. But you could say it worked because the opponent failed to convert the free kick. Moving on, you know a game is full of drama when a fight breaks out, but that's still not the most dramatic thing that happened in the game. First of all, if you don't watch the Copa Libertadores, you really need to get into it because there's really some quality football there and it's accompanied with equally quality drama. This very game was between Independiente of Ecuador and River Plate of Uruguay. It was a very intense match and then, like many intense games we've seen, a fight broke out. It seemed like 20-year-old Preciado was the villain because the entire River Plate team seemed to be ready to pounce on him. But you could tell that he watched a lot of action movies because he didn't let the number intimidate him at all. He just took out the corner flag and used it as a weapon. He didn't really hit anybody, but well, perhaps that's because nobody approached him while he waved the flag around in front of them. We're pretty sure this was not what Knan had in mind when he wrote Waving Flag for the 2010 World Cup. But speaking of the World Cup, we had a flash at the 2014 tournament in Brazil. This was the biggest stage of all and involved two big names, William Carvalho of Portugal and Jordan Ayew of Ghana. Carvalho was trying to stop Ayew from going further with the ball, but the best he could come up with was pulling his shorts down. He did that and put the Ghanaian's genitals on full display. It seems Carvalho was focused on the wrong balls that day. But let's stay in Brazil for our next entry. This one proves that sometimes it is the officials who are the culprits. Denis da Silva Ribeiro Serafim was the match official for a cup game in Brazil last year, and he shows how much he values time just before the game kicked off. Perhaps he thought there wasn't enough time to go and find the bathroom and come back out to kick the game off in time, so he decided to ease himself in the centre of the pitch. This was a really bizarre thing, honestly, but damn, that's one of the most discreet ways of peeing we've ever seen. I mean, if you don't look closely, you might actually miss it. After going number one right there on the pitch, the ref now goes ahead to bump fists with one of the team's number ones. Oh. But you know what? Let's keep that number one theme going. Up next is Backfield and Langley's number one going number one on the pitch during an FA Cup game last year. After the ball went out for a goal kick, Connor Maseko, the backfield goalie, thought he'd just quickly do his business up against the hedge. But he wasn't half as discreet as our ref guy. He was caught by the opposition players who alerted the ref who then sent Maseko off. But if you think peeing on a pitch while a game is on is so crazy, that's maybe because you never heard of what Gary Lineker did at the World Cup back in 1990. <laughs> yes, 
is exactly what it looks like. He went number two right there on the pitch. For those who want to argue that that's not exactly what happened, don't even bother. Lineker himself has already admitted to it. He even went on to describe the event as how it actually happened. He said, The ball went down the left-hand side. I did try to tackle someone. I stretched and then I relaxed myself. I was very fortunate it rained that night and I could do something about it. You can see me rubbing the ground like a dog. It was the most horrendous experience of my life. Honestly, that would be the most horrendous experience of anyone's life if it happened to them. But if you're going for shocking experiences, then that has to be what Ramsdale faced just after full-time at the North London derby this season. It seems like a Spurs fan was so pissed at how many saves the Arsenal goalie made to keep his side out that, after the game, he decided to take matters into his own hands, or legs as it appears. The fan came all the way down, climbed over the advertising board just to unleash a kick on the England goalkeeper before immediately making his way back up. He thought nobody saw him, but a cameraman followed him all the way up and eventually caught his face. Our recommendation is that the Spurs fan be disciplined with a cane. <laughs> with a... But hey, we've seen all sorts of weird stuff in this video. Violent weird, creepy weird, crazy weird, ballsy weird, all sorts. So please, let's end with something a little weird to see, but still cute. So this guy that we're about to talk about is perhaps the cutest pitch invader we have ever seen in football history. He ran onto the pitch and immediately slipped and fell and was writhing in pain on the ground. So, the stewards came around and tried to get him help, and guess who the help came from? His girlfriend who works as a medic for one of the teams that were playing that day. The moment he felt the touch of his woman, he was healed instantly. He got up and he went on one knee, he got a ring out of his pocket and proposed to her right there and then. She was definitely not expecting it at all, but she said yes. No matter how much you don't like pitch invaders, provided you have a heart, you must have enjoyed seeing that very unusual but really beautiful marriage proposal happen on a football pitch. Anyway, are there more weird incidents you've witnessed in a football match, whether it happened at an official game or at a local game in your town or city? Get in the comments and tell us about it. We want all the tea. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.